and welcome back to the next Untangle Your Thoughts video. And the next one we're going to work on today is how to navigate the Excel worksheet quickly. Um, and to demonstrate why that's important, let's look at this file we have in front of us here. Uh, this is a dummy mailing list, meaning uh, these are all kind of dummy data points here. And uh, it's about 5,000 records long or 5,000 rows long. And uh, we'd like to find out how long it would take if we just scroll down the old-fashioned way by pressing on this uh, arrow here on the slider bar. And as you can see, it looks like it'll take maybe a couple of minutes maybe to get all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so pretty slow. If you, anything over a few hundred rows of data, um, you're going to want to learn faster techniques to get around. Um, now, a second technique to get down further down the, uh, down the spreadsheet would be to just click over here on the right hand side just below the slider and this does move pretty quickly you can see how it moves a lot more quickly but you're still having to kind of stay ahead of it uh, and kind of hold your mouse down it's just a little bit it's not an elegant approach it's not a, a quick approach and you still got to figure out where it's going to stop and, and, and hope you get lucky okay so still not the best way um, the best way to get down a worksheet quickly when you have a lot of data is to use control down arrow okay so let's put our uh, marker here and let's press control down arrow and look how we got to the bottom of the worksheet very very quickly almost ins instantaneously so that's a great thing to do um, to get back to the top of the worksheet there's two things you can do you can do control up arrow now the reason I don't use this is look what happened um, it brought us to the very top of the, uh, the in this case it's the field header uh, cell A1 um, but look how it didn't scroll the rest of the worksheet. The rest of the worksheet is still down in row 5,000 or so. Um, and so a faster way and a better way to get up to the top is just to control home, and that gets you uh, to the very top. So the control home key is a great way to go as well. Um, similarly, now this, this worksheet here isn't very wide in terms of uh, columns, but you can get to the right-hand side just by clicking control right arrow. gets you over to the right-hand side. Um, and uh, what about going to the very bottom of the worksheet uh, in terms not only of the vertical but in terms of left and right? So let's say we had an enormous worksheet going to the very bottom right. Um, there's two ways to do that as well. You can use Control End, um, which will again the End key is one of the keys on your keyboard there, and that'll get us to the the lower rightmost cell that's ever been active. And in this case, this worksheet has been active on in column H in the past, and so it brought us down here. That's fine, but what if, uh, for example, if we placed, uh, I'm scrolling down a little bit here, let's say we placed a character randomly down here. <clears throat> now I'm going back to the top with Control Home. Now, <clears throat> if I want to bring us to the lower right-hand side of the data set, um, if I hit Control End, it's going to bring me to that character at the very bottom, which is not the bottom of my data set, right? So rather than go to that character, what I really want to do is just go to the end of my data set. So I'm going to go ahead and do control down arrow and then control right arrow. And that gets me to the bottom of my data set. And you can tell that's a different thing than hitting control end. Um, and that is all for the quick navigation. We will cover some more navigation in other videos.